Welcome back and we rejoin the race with the women on the main climb of lap two. Tackling the main ascent for the second time and Alexander's now passing some of the tail end men and she'll be trying to extend her lead up here. This is her favourite terrain. For a change, her challengers are not completely out of contention as both Morell and Roberts regain time on the dusty single track descent at the far side of the course but neither look like they can maintain Alexander's climbing tempo. Out of Maddox Coppice, it's Alexander's fiancé Clark, who's still top man and looks very comfortable with around 60 seconds in hand over the young Saracen rider Gunner. Go on. And now that chasing trio are only a further 20 seconds behind, so Gunner's second place is under real pressure. They're benefiting from sharing the workload at the front with Craig moving aside for Baker to take it on. The heat and the demands of the course are really spreading the field out and Ford and Early both are on their own and once you're out of sight on this course you're out of mind and since Clay has pulled out after a heavy crash on the descent the next rider through is Cuthbertson. So here are the positions near the end of lap two as Cuthbertson checks his advantage over Paul Lasonby currently ninth. Running commentary there's a big crash at the start and I got a bad one. Well, he's obviously moving up well, though Alistair Martin's only 17 seconds behind him. The women are now on their way down, and you can see how much dust is being kicked up as Alexander follows one of the back markers. This kind of single track suits Morell to a T, and she's limiting the damage to around a minute, with the Welshwoman a further minute behind and finding a dust free line. Right, two minutes behind Caroline. While Windos, who lies fourth, is another one enjoying these descents. As Alexander heads out of the coppice, a group of men are now trying to get a toe on her wheel. She hasn't been able to take a breather, for Morel has chipped away at her lead on every descent. And unlike the past two years, the Salison rider is showing no sign of weakening on this course. It's good to see this trio of top place regulars on form and in close contention. And despite the sound of her breathing, Roberts is going well, but she does suffer from asthma, so the dust today will be affecting her. Here's the situation confirmed as Windos comes through. She's one of a number of riders making a mark in her first season at this level. Robinson's another but she's a further minute back today. The men are now on their third lap of five and through the main arena, Clark is increasing his lead. Gunner has had to retire after a double puncture while Craig and Baker have managed to drop Gould who was struggling to stay with them. Clark's lead has grown to nearly two minutes and his decision to miss the hill climb championships for the first time to preserve his energy seems to be paying off. Just like Margam a fortnight ago, Baker and Craig are again working together in an attempt to bring back the leader. On that occasion it was Gould who was away, but today he's lacking firepower for an attack. Though his fourth position is now more clear cut as Ford has also retired. On their penultimate lap and there's no change in the women's positions. Alexander's lead over Morel is gradually increasing but allows her little margin for error and Roberts, who's renowned for her strong finishing, has remained in contention. The most difficult descent on the course is at the bottom of Maddox Coppice and it has deteriorated with a number of riders through today. So with tailenders ahead of her, Alexander is taking no chances and elects to run the tricky section before remounting. <laughs> Morel though is riding all the way despite the dust masking her line and that's kept the gap pegged at around a minute. 
Clark is also at ease on the descents, and his lead is such that he needn't take any chances at all. Windoss is still fourth behind Roberts, but she'll soon be passed by the chasing men's tandem of Baker and Cray, who, with little more than a lap to go, must realise they are destined for silver and bronze. But in which order? Fifth place Robinson has closed the gap on Windoss slightly, but she's having all sorts of problems with this descent. And even Gould took a tumble here last time round when he tried to lap a rider. While Early, who's not renowned for his downhilling, will be very conscious of the collarbone he broke earlier in the season. The leaders are now cresting Sachs Hub for the final time, and Clark is the first over. Barring mishaps, which the rally rider this season has had his fair share of, Clark should be adding this title to the National Cyclo Cross Crown that he won in the winter. In the woods, regular top 10 finisher over the season, Cuthbertson is still in 6th, but Martin has now moved up to 7th. Alexandra is next over the hump, and I'm sure she'll have been delighted that it was her fiancé, Barry, who lapped her at the start of the final loop, particularly since the chasing two men have not yet caught her. In fact, Craig is now on his own, second, after Baker's hopes of a fourth title in a row were thwarted when he wrecked his wheel on a log and had to retire. So Gould will no doubt be considering himself fortunate to have moved into the bronze position. Down the single track of Maddox Coppies for the last time, and Clark is nearing the end of a long, lonely ride, which has already seen him out on his own for four laps. And there's little chance of Craig changing that now with only a mile and a half to go. And another trophy seems assured for the Alexander Clark cabinet as the Klein rider is now well clear and heading for her fourth British Championship in a row. Since Clark disappeared into the distance on lap one, Craig has really only been contesting silver, which he also won here last year. But having taken the National Series a fortnight ago, this has been the Diamondback rider's most successful season to date. While Alexander should be rightly pleased with this title, particularly as it follows a very disappointing summer on the World Cup circuit. So Clark is all smiles as he crosses the line to take the British title and becomes only the third rider to do so along with Baker and Gould. The Schwinn rider is now heading in for bronze to add to the gold and silver medals he's won in the past. Craig crosses the line second for the fourth time in a row in a national cross-country race. And this time, it's for silver in the Nationals. Meanwhile, Morell is heading out of the coppice for the final time, and she's now overcome her jinx course with style, keeping the gap to Alexander within two minutes. The next two through are Early, who'll take fourth in the men's competition, and Roberts, who's once again firing on all cylinders and seems to have refound her motivation. Yet again, Alexander has no peers, but that smile is for her fiancé, Barry Clark, and I think she's more happy for him than herself. And the applause is just as loud for the next three over the line, as Gould takes the bronze for the men, while for the women, Morell takes silver, and Roberts comes in for the bronze. The crowd are appreciative of the excellent racing they've witnessed, and on such a hot day. But spare a thought for Ian Taylor, who broke his chain with a mile to go, and had to run in to claim eighth spot. So Alexander takes her fourth national championships in a row, but for a change, Morell and Roberts almost had her in sight. While Clark takes his first national cross-country title in commanding style ahead of Craig and Gould. After the medalists have taken their plaudits from the crowds, we asked them about their races. I've never quite got it right on the day on the mountain bikes and this year I won the cross title from being a bit of an outsider and uh, I followed a similar sort of peaking plan for this week and uh, it's paid off with a lap to go. I'd opened up a gap on Nick. It probably had grown to more than two minutes, I think. So I knew I was okay and I was still feeling quite strong. So there wasn't any problems which is a rare treat to get it right on the day especially at championships i'm really pleased with second i'd like to have won it obviously but barry really today was in his own in his own class he went away from the start took a minute and 